Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, uh, I would suggest that you do so because this way you will be notified of any new tutorials that I post as soon as I post. And uh, I would also suggest that you become a fan of the YouTube uh, of the Facebook channel Learn um, Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. Huh. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about files, how you can open files in C. In the previous tutorial, we learned about what files are, why they are important, and how to, um, uh, what are different types of uh, files. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can uh, uh, open the files because opening the file is the main important step that you have to do before you can do anything with the files in, in C or in any other language. So let's get started. First of all, um, in this particular compiler if you have the these files included you don't really have to do this but you know in general you will need to do this okay pound include stdio.h okay <coughs> and then let's see uh, again you know everything everything that we the, so far that we have learned any other than basic stuff they require functions in c c is a structured programming language that's the reason why it's uh, why it has a whole bunch of functions because function is actually, as we learned, that function does a particular job, and while using the function, you have you don't need to know how that particular job is done. All you need to know that you know once you how to call that function, and you know that this is this job would be done after that. So since right now we are faced with the problem of opening a file, obviously we will have to use a function to open a file. Okay, so this is the function called fopen fi for file open. Uh, this is the function that you need to use to open a file, and then you have to specify the path, uh, a file name, okay, preferably with the path, and then you have to specify the mode, okay, and this actually um, <coughs> will open the file with this name, file name, and in this mode that you specified mode okay and it returns something called file pointer okay so you have to and you have to capture that file pointer you have to store it in a file pointer so you declare a file pointer and you can call it whatever you you want to call it let's call it p file okay and then you can say p file is equal to f open followed by the file name as the first parameter and the mode in which you want it to be open and we will learn what this means in a minute okay now file name it's going to be a string okay you can specify whatever file you want abc.txt or you just say a abc or whatever you want to say you can say okay and you can specify the full path C colon backslash abc.txt. What you are saying is that you want to store it in C drive or C partition in the root directory like this. So it will actually open a file in this at this particular location in, in this path which is the root directory and with this name abc.txt. Okay. You don't have to specify the path. Path is optional. You can just specify the name of the file and it will go and open it wherever this application is running from it will just open it right there okay so you better know where you are running this application from this is where it's going to create the file okay if you are not sure you can specify the full path if you want the problem is that the path has to exist if the path doesn't would not exist the f, f open is going to fail okay and when f open fails it will return a null pointer okay a pointer that points to address 0 which is you know it's like not pointing anywhere so it will return a null pointer if it successfully opens the file it returns a pointer to a file descriptor a file descriptor and you have to don't have to know 
what a file descriptor is. It is of this type file. You don't have to know about this. All you need to know is that you have the pointer to that descriptor. And you have to capture and you keep it safe just like we did. You store it in some variable, in the file pointer variable. Okay? This is what you need to do. And and that's it. That's all we, we need. Because subsequent calls to, to do all the operations to this file, they are not going to need this file name. They will need this file pointer. Okay? Not the file name, file pointer. The only call that needs the file pointer, a uh, uh, file name, is fopen. After that, after that, only we will be using the descriptor uh, or the file pointer actually. Okay. Now here is the second uh, parameter to this thing. Mode. You have to tell what you are opening the file for. Okay. So you have to tell it if you want to just read from the file you have to write r okay you have to if you just want to read from the file you are not going to write to it you are just going to read to it read from it you specify r here so in other words you do this okay notice that this is also a string and this is also a string obviously it's a file name since it's a name it has to be string but this is also a string okay it's not a character so you cannot write it like this. You have to write it like this. Okay? So R is read only. The file has to exist before you can read it. If the file does not exist, again it will return null pointer. Okay? F open is gonna return null pointer. So null pointer kind of tells you that there has been an error in opening the file. Okay? And then next thing is next mode is write. W. Obviously, this is to write the file okay if the file exists already it's going to delete that file and create a new one if the file does not exist it will create a new one anyway so in this particular mode the file does not have to exist it just needs to it will be created it will be like brand new after this point if you'll open a file with with in write mode the next mode is append a append means that you will be writing to the end of the file so the file if the file exists you will be writing at the end of the file so every time when you'll be writing to it you will be writing at the end of this file you cannot read from this file you cannot read from this file if you open it with the with with the in this mode if you open it in this mode you can only write if you open it this mode you can on, only write you can this will create a new file brand new file this will append to the existing file. If the file does not exist, then it will create a new file. Okay. The next mode is R plus. All right. R plus is basically it's for read and write both. You are saying that you want to read from the file and you want to write from the file. The file has to exist in this case again, just like in this case. Okay. And then the next one is write plus. That says that you want to read and write from the file the file will be deleted if it uh, already exists just like here it's like the combination of these two this w plus okay if the file does not exist it will be created if the file exists it will be deleted and a new file will be created okay in other words it will be emptied and then the next one is a plus of course which says that it's again for read and write both but if the file exists you will be writing at the end it won't be deleted or it won't be uh, you know recreated or you know emptied or something it won't be okay so you uh, this is what a plus does all right so you could use you can open a file in any of these modes all right now if uh, all these modes actually open the file in the text mode. In other words, you can only write text data. And what is the text data? Text data is the data that can be printable, printed. So a file will be only printable file. Okay. If you really want to create a binary file, as we learned, there are two types of files. You have to put a B at the end of these. So let me stop here at this point, And I will continue with this tutorial in the next... Uh, video. Thank you so much.